Uh, welcome to Parliament House here in our nation's capital. My name is Gary Bage and I'm the Director and CEO of the Smart Infrastructure Facility at the University of Wollongong. And it's been my very great pleasure, on behalf of Mike Murdoch as well, the Secretary of the Department of Infrastructure and Transport, to welcome you to our gathering. Well, I think we talked about collaboration in two different ways today. We talked about um, different universities around the country sharing their expertise, their different skill sets as they apply to common problems. But we also talked, as perhaps even more importantly, about the university sector, government and industry coming together. We need those different players in the, um, the innovation system to share their leadership and their expertise if we're going to make a difference. We're all um, recipients of some significant investment in infrastructure funding around Australia's universities at the moment. Smart's a significant one of those and we have a similar one of our own at QUT. So to not align that when there are scarce resources about combining around Australia's shared problems would, would be a mistake and one that we're not prepared to make. Australia has been a world leader in building infrastructure, a world leader in financing infrastructure. What we haven't led the world in, in fact in many ways we've fallen behind, is how we plan and research and the commitment we make to investment in research and analysis. That's an area where we haven't had the resources devoted in the past and it's an area which we need to and in fact it's the critical areas I see it of the planning reform agenda going forward, making sure that we've actually got the resources in our critical analytical capability, our research capability and that we've got long-term strategic planning taking place which is multidisciplinary which actually enables us to make sure we're investing in the right place at the right time ahead of what we need to do. Nick Greiner spoke this morning about intellectual leadership. In our first report of 52 pages, people read two pages which were around projects. And in the project area, that was a disappointing first round. There's an opportunity, I think, for the research community to go and assist all those people putting project proposals together and help them work through the best way of dealing with the problem identification. Too many of the projects came in and said, we have the answer. Uh, our council said, well, what was the question? And unless there's that research effort in the upfront problem identification, we'll continue to make the mistakes of the past. as Martin Betts said, you come up with a project that everyone has a stake in, then everyone gathers around that in a way which they all can see benefit from giving up a little bit of their sovereignty and putting uh, some of what they sort of a bit, bit careful about onto the table and then there's something substantive to talk about and once that happens then everything opens up and you start rolling. But it's got to be something that, that everyone has an interest in, in achieving uh, a, a successful outcome from whatever viewpoint they have, whether it's good research, uh, competitive, uh, collaborative, sorry, competitive commercial outcomes or uh, good government policy for social benefit.